agreement of the Quran. So it's just been added? No, no, not been added. Right. It's neutral, right? You, okay, have the neutral position. you have certain statements of the Prophet right. that does not necessarily contradict, right? Or in line with the Quranic verses, right? You have okay. a hadith like that. Yeah. Do you accept that type of a hadith or not, right? Okay. Or, or do you only accept, as you said, the ones that are in agreement with the Quran? Now we can... Okay, so going back to your original point, like I said, I don't want to skip same point, yeah. what you said. Yeah, that's fine. What you're saying... Uh, it's where it, my, my statement is rendered useless. Where we, if we, if there are hadith that I don't need, that is not saying the same thing as the Quran. No, no, I'm saying if the hadith. That's useless. I didn't, wait, wait, Do you understand my, my, my point? I'm yes, saying if you, the because hadith. Because you carried on, I, I was, I kept listening to you, and I forgot your original point. Go, I okay, repeat so, it for you. Right. I'm saying if the hadith yeah. is it saying the same thing as the Quran. Right. Then I don't need the hadith because the Quran oh. is there already telling okay, me the let's point. Pause right? there. Let's pause there. Okay, right. yeah. So let's say this brother is a uh, Christian. Okay. Or he's no religion. He's he's an atheist and he has no idea. Then he reads something. One day he opens a book and then it's a Quran. And to him it's nothing. It's just a book. He doesn't believe. He doesn't believe in God. And he reads something in the Baqarah. It talks about the cow when Moses came down from the mountain. And the people of the, the, the Bani Israel, they said, we need proof that you are from Allah. Show us what kind of cow is. And he had to explain the cow. He didn't say, show so, us proof that, that you are from Allah. Okay, they needed proof. The they, only, that's the only no, way they sacrificed. They didn't ask for proof. Uh, that's I, the only reason they sacrificed. I think right? you're talking about the verse without understanding no, the verse. What I'm trying to say. Do, so, do you remember the verse? Let, let me just kind of give you the context and I will come back but, to you. But before you make claims about the Quran, you need to yes. be accurate, you know? Yes. If you're claiming the Quran, I've said something, you have to be accurate yes. there. I'm telling you the Quran doesn't say what you said. <laughs> The, Musa in said the, to his in people. The, in the, in Baqarah, I'm I, talking I, about Baqarah. Yes, no, I, I'm not sure. I'll give you. I'll give you the beginning now. When Musa Musa to his people, Inna Allah yamurkum anta bahu Baqarah. When Musa, when Moses told these people, I'll give you the context. I will give you everything. Don't yeah. worry. No, but when Moses, going back to the point. No, because I, you, I need to make this point. Okay. So I need retract, to make this point. retract the other statement, the and then we can was, move on. Right. The point was, if, yes. I, if, if, if there was a hadith or if there was a teaching that tries to teach this brother, sorry, I'm not using it as an example. I'm just trying to explain something. If that hadith explains this verse to this brother and that makes that brother on to, closer to the Salat al-Mustaqeem what's wrong with that hadith? There is nothing, in fact, it is light and guidance and actually what Allah says in the Quran do righteous deeds, righteousness. What is righteousness? It's making someone, helping them go on to Salat al-Mustaqeem. But you're not getting my point, my brother. No, but if, you're saying it's useless. It's not useless. You're not getting the point. I'm saying your statement is useless, not the hadith is useless. I'm saying if you say the hadith is already telling me the same thing the Quran is telling me, why do I need the hadith if the Quran is already there? If it explains, I'll give you an example. Right, if, it explains, if, the, if the Quran is right? saying in chapter 112, yeah. say Allah is uniquely one. And I have a hadith of the Prophet when he said Allah is one. He doesn't yeah. have he doesn't have another, for example, he doesn't have a second. For example, that hadith to me, I don't need it because the Quran is there already. So right. when you say to me, I accept hadith that are in line with the Quran, yep. in essence, you're saying I don't accept hadith, I only accept the Quran because they are in line with the Quran. That's no, my no, criteria. No, 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 you've misunderstood. The reason why I say I reject some hadith is because men are infallible. Uh, men are fallible. Okay. We write things with our own hands. Was and the we Prophet are fallible? fallible. Sorry? Was the Prophet fallible? No, he is uh, Rasulullah. So he's not fallible? He is not fallible. Okay. The Rasul is not fallible. So, and hold on. The reason why we have to be uh, cautious of things that we read is because A, because of politics, and B, because of the greed of men, we don't know. We don't, none of us here know. Can knows I understand your sure argument? Where? Go on. Your argument is, I reject some hadith because men are fallible, correct? Am I representing part, part, you correctly? Part of what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not exactly Am I representing part. you correctly? Yeah. Right? Yes, yeah. Okay. Why do you accept the Quran? Men are fallible. Why do I re Why do you accept the Quran? You need to stop laughing. Is okay. This is, we're talking about okay. Allah. Just, you cannot... Uh, don't be worried, don't yeah. be worried about what okay, people fine. are, are doing. Okay. Be worried about yourself, right? right. I'm not laughing, am I? No. I'm just asking you a question. Right. If, if hadith, as you said, you reject some of it because men are fallible, yeah. I'm now holding you to your own criteria. Be consistent. Yeah. Why do you not reject a part of the Quran? Why do you want to reject the Quran? No, a part of the Quran because men are fallible. Maybe there's a mistake there as well. No, because this is divine revelation. How do you know that? Allah tells us. How do you know Allah told you? This men that brought you the scripture right. are the only reason you think Allah told Be you anything. Because nothing has been added into the Quran. How do you know? I have faith. You have faith? Yes. So now you're saying... I have faith I in have... the words of Allah. Ah. So now you, ha you have blind faith No, 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 it's not Quran. blind. It's not blind. So here's the evidence. Okay, here's the evidence. Apart from the Quran, where else does it say believe only in God and, and what God has revealed? It says it in the Torah. It says it in Zabur. When How's King David is saying, saying, because the talking about preservation of the Quran now. 
You said to me you believe in the preservation yes, of the Quran. If you believe Can in you give me evidences for you as yourself? What's your name? Dawan. Yeah, Dawan? Dawan. So Dawan, I'm asking you for evidence now, yeah. holding you to your criteria. Men al fallible, men brought the Quran to us. You have not never met the Prophet in your life, neither have I, right? Uh, so the men that brought you the Quran are also the men who brought you the hadith. If they are fallible and they will make a mistake in the hadith, they can be fallible and make a mistake in the Quran. Right. So now this is a consistent argument, consistent criteria. Now please enlighten me on what basis do you accept that the, that the Quran is preserved? Okay, so you made an assumption, which is an assumption only. Tell me what you're saying. It is not a fact where you're saying the same men that brought us the hadith are the same men that Who brought, brought us the Quran. Quran. Who brought you Robert, the Quran? let me finish because I, I, I was respectful. This is talking about the assumption. Yes, you made an assumption. I'm it's only an assumption. Okay. Because back then, we're talking 1400 years ago, okay. there were no computers. There was no point of fact evidence. The True. only thing we have mm -hmm. is the most plausible uh, route, right? If it's the most which plausible, what? that's it. Which is, what? Which is narration. I did which passed down from generation to generation. Now. Well, that's the only thing. There is nothing else. Okay. Unless there's an alien who decided to have a. Uh, Can time you tell me one, one chain of Quranic transmission? Chain? What yeah. do you mean? That, that narration you're talking no, about, I, it's called a chain of transmission, yeah? Right. Where you have men in the chain narrating from one another yeah. to us, yeah? Okay. Now, you don't know any chain of, of narration. Yeah, I, I, I know that. More. Leave now. I don't, please, don't use terms you don't understand. Please. No, I, I, I don't understand. I know. I'm, I'm trying to I know. see if that's... I the, understand, yeah. but I'm not talking about it. I'm telling you right now, there's a transmission and there is a chain. There is a men in the chain, correct? You do not know a single chain of narration right. of, the, of the Quranic uh, revelation, right? Right. These narrations, the men in the narration are the same men who are transmitting the hadith. So it's not an assumption. It is a fact that the same people who brought to you the Quran are the same people who brought to you the hadith. Now, repeating my question again, yeah. on what basis you accept the Quran even though it's coming from the same source and you reject the part of the hadith claiming that men are fallible but not applying your consistent criteria of the Quran. I'll tell you something, I'll, I'll be nice with you. Look. The end of hadith rejection is yeah. Quran rejection. That's how things work. No one can no, be in his right mind. Somebody else mentioned this as well. No, Let no, me respond. I'm giving you making, evidence now. You're making multiple points. And when I'm thinking about Which the point, one I made making, my one point. No, 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 you're making multiple things that Which I ones? want to agree with. But you keep changing your point and I, 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 I want to address them the one but point, you keep changing and I'm respectful I let you talk address only one yeah. point which is I'm dealing with which is right. that the people who brought you the Quran the same people who brought you the Hadith you reject them based on no, the men are it's the same point we've been I, discussing I for a while now I'll, I'll, no other point okay I'll go back to what I said it's an, it is an assumption you are making I give not, you not just you not just you but our forefathers the religion of our forefathers tells us no assumptions. That, the, that the narrations that you're saying I have no uh, knowledge of the Scientific, the science of, of, of hadith. It's true. Why? Because what's important, Allah says, I have not left anything out of the Quran. As in Where did the, Allah say that? When it's a complete book. This is a complete book. No, 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 you said, Allah said, yeah. I have not left anything except the Quran. No, outside of it. As in nothing. Out, okay, left I have not left anything outside the Quran. I, you can't quote me word for word. No, bro, if you say Allah you said. You can't quote me word for bro, word bro. because I'm not here I'll as a. Something. I don't have ever. I, I don't have Do you know, a report. Get, I don't have a report. Bro, bro, I'm trying to I'll tell you something important now. You're yeah. getting angry. Because I'm, I'm quoting you word for word, right? Yeah. Imagine you quoting Allah Azza wa Jal wrongly. How would Allah uh, be, be okay with that? Now, if you're quoting Allah Azza wa Jal, well, I, I have you, if I, with if the I same standard. If I explain something to this brother, no, but in my a brother, different way so he understands, my brother, my that's brother, not wrong. My brother, this Even is though it's word for word. This is the second time I correct you regarding Quranic verses. The first was about Musa. You made a wrong claim about what, what it's happened It's not wrong there. at all. No, no, no. The people, when Musa was on the mountain, okay. the people asked him for evidence to say, to show that Allah it was actually in the community in, in, in that they wanted to know the cow. You know when they were asking for what type of cow this is? No, no, is this not no, correct? No, no, you said is this incorrect? they did ask what type of cow it is. Right. But you didn't say that. Go back, it's on camera. Well, look, 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 I'll tell you the thing about camera. People cannot run away and escape their points. Yeah? You made what the do you point. think I said? Uh, uh, you will okay. see on camera what you said. No, no, you no said, I said the same thing. Can I repeat? I, I'm trying can I repeat? Yeah. Okay. You said that they were asking Musa when he came from the mountain, Musa yeah. alayhi salam. You said they were asking him for evidence, right? They were not asking him for any evidence. The story goes as Musa alayhi salam is the one who's telling his people. Musa alayhi salam, in the beginning yeah. of the scripture, he goes, وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَأْمُرُكُمْ أَنْ تَذْبَحُوا بَقَرَةً Allah is saying, when Musa said to his people, Allah commands you to slaughter a cow. 
Yes. Then they said, are make you taking... Yes. Uh, yeah. they make so there was no evidence he's coming down, they're asking for evidence. It was Musa alayhi salam giving them a command right. and then they were inquisitive and inqui inquiring what type of cow it is. No? Right. So that's the first mistake you did. Second mistake but is... But why is that important? As it's it's the important same because message. it's the Quran. No, brother, I want to quote it properly. You're, you're, it's not the same message. You're, you're stepping above, but it's the same message. No, it's, I, not. I, it's not incorrect. What I said it is, is not incorrect. incorrect. It is. Because, because they wanted to be sure. No, my brother. Right, the people needed to be brother, sure. Let's not, let's not go around ourselves. You said you yeah. came from the mountain, they were asking yeah. you for evidence. That's how you're saying the story goes. Allah Azza wa is saying, they didn't go this way, therefore it's a mistake. I'm saying if you quote Allah, okay. if you quote the Quran, yeah. which you claim that to hold on to, yeah. at least quote it properly. That's the only thing I'm asking you to do. Yeah, but the way if you don't saying, know, if you don't know, if you don't know, what, open the what, Quran what you're saying, and read. The way you're saying read, read it, the, the way you're saying it is if I said something completely different. If this is blue and I said it's red. You did, you did. This is not red. Did. I did not say this is red. You did say something different. No, no, no. It's the you same did. thing. No. They wanted to be sure, make it clear to us okay. what kind of cow it is. If I come to so you. So then he started to make clear. Now, why? Okay, no, before, no, 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 no. You made a, you made a claim. Let me you just. Are not, you're not letting me speak. And I'm trying to I make it clear you to you. I am letting you need, No, no. I sat down. Mm. No, I sat down. I stood respectfully listening to you. And I was trying to think about the points you were making. You're speaking as well? You're speaking. You're not silent. Allah brings down a book through a messenger, through a Rasul. Mm. This book is for humanity. Why to bring us out of darkness? As in, I'm not, don't quote me word for word. Think about it. Use your reason as Allah instructs in the book. Use your reason, use your intellect. If we are in darkness about something, mm. Allah sends this book to bring us out of darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's in the Quran. I agree with it. Good. Yeah. Now, why is the Quran not enough? Not no. just the Quran, but we've got, for example, Zabur, we've got the Injil and the Torah. Why is that not enough? Okay. Now the answer. Apart from the fact that it might have been changed, because some other brother said, because it says those who write no, no. The I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. To them, but something about, about people who reject hadith, right? Yeah. They, they they try to play around the point, right? I will easily 100% answer your question, which you you saying why is it not enough? When you answer the question that you avoided. On what basis of your criteria do you reject some hadith claiming that men are infallible or fallible, sorry, and, and you accept the Quran even though it's also by men, even if it's not the same men, because you're holding on to that point, I'll give you that point. Let's not say it's the same men. Let's say it's also coming from men. Our men are fallible. That's yeah. your criteria. On what basis do you accept something which came from fallible men and you reject something else on the same basis that is com coming from fallible no, no, no. men? Okay. Then I will answer your question gladly. I, again, I think you're trying to you're misquoting or you've misunderstood me. What I'm trying to say is, if a certain hadith, or if I'm explaining something, so a hadith is an, a, a, is an explanation, right? It's trying to teach us wisdom, hikmah, well, as, as some of the other brothers were trying to allude to. It's it's something that is trying to um, teach us something apparently that we didn't know already, right? So, if I am trying to teach somebody who is not learning, somebody who does not know the way, and I have learned it from the Quran, and I'm teaching that person in a form of a hadith what I have learned from the Quran, that is. Is a pure hadith that is because I'm not doing anything different I'm not doing word for word so, but I'm it's like teaching uh, physics first time to a year seven who has no idea what physics is you are introducing them to it but the ultimate aim is for them to be on the right path okay. therefore that is not bad but when you start doing things that have nothing to do with the Sirat al mustaqim what's the point like you go back to you is there's no point okay yeah. you have an answer my question so again so now, no asking you to go around the point. You've told me that oh, the hadith is an explanation of the wisdom, something that elaborates on the Quran. It's not related to what I asked. My question was, yeah. on what basis do you accept something? Oh, look, I'm making it clear. This is the fourth time. I know you don't have an answer. We can move on if you say, I don't have an answer. To listen. So, you're choosing so what is the answer you're giving me? Yeah, tell me. On what basis do you accept the Quran is preserved? Even though it's coming from men who are fallible. So, okay, to, to your, the question you're asking me, how do I know the Quran is definitely preserved? No, I'm saying you reject the hadith. No, but you just said, on what basis do I... Just let me finish the statement, right? Yeah. You said you reject the hadith based yeah. that men are fallible. Yes. That, that was your reasoning, right? Men are fallible. I said to you, be consistent. You have to also reject the Quran or a part of the Quran like you reject a part of the hadith because men are fallible and men brought it to you. Now, again, asking the question, on what basis do you reject one and accept the other? That's my question. When, okay, Quran no answer, as divine, right? no, there is an answer. You're, you're, you're rushing. I'm not rushing. Okay, because what you're saying is, I have to, I, you, what you're saying is I have to choose one or the other or not choose any of them. Yes, when originally, I am saying that. Originally, yes. there I am should, saying that yes. originally, there should be no choice. Originally, it says That's in the Quran, opinion. there is only divine revelation. That is, is the only. Where does it say that? 
No, what I'm trying to teach you is the, the Quran teaches Teach me, where does it say in the Quran? Where does it say in the Quran? Well, when it says only there is only divine revelation. No, you said the Quran says there is only divine revelation. Where no, does it no, say? The Quran teaches divine revelation. When it talks about the Torah, Brother, when you, it talks about the Zabu, Again, I told you quote the Quran properly, yeah, because I'm not gonna let you just no, I, misquote I the Quran. Here to talk yeah. to people. Everybody put these cameras on me. Nobody say, asked my permission to be you, recorded. You, you say you I, say, I, I I don't know why everybody. You were happy speaking with the other brothers. I don't know what happened now. I've been talking for two hours and I've been labeled with things that I'm not. For example, I am not hadith rejecter. Did not. Did I ask you in the beginning? Did I ask you are you or did I label you? No, you did ask. Okay, so let's not talk about other people. Did this talk about I did? You have a conversation with me. Okay, let's come back. Sure, let's come back to my discussion. Clearly, you don't have an answer, so I'll make it easy for you. I'll let it go. I'll let this point go. Now let me ask a question now. I answered that. You're not choosing. I'll let the viewers. I'll let the viewers decide. Okay. Now let me ask this question now. Right. Do you believe there is any revelation? Because there is, you said the Quran is the only revelation. That's what you just said. Do you believe? No, no, no. I, I said there's four revelation which Quran. Talks no, no. Leave the other books. I'm not talking about the other books. Why are you leaving? I'll tell you. I'll explain to you. Because we're discussing hadith now. We're not talking about the previous scriptures. I'm saying, do you believe the Prophet Muhammad? Leave now the other prophets. Yeah. Do you believe the Prophet Muhammad received any other revelation other than the Quran? Or do you believe, as you said to me, the hadith was an explanation that the Prophet ﷺ was given, he looked at the hadith, right? And he was explaining the hadith as, as he thought his wisdom, right? Do you believe there was revelation the, on the Prophet ﷺ other than the Quran? We, must, we believe, we believe, yeah, Ahl Sunnah, Ahl Sunnah believe. At the same time as, as the Quran was being revealed, is that what you mean? Yes, I just want to Sunnah, yes, Ahl Sunnah believe right. that there is two types of revelation. One is the Quran yeah. and one is the Hadith. That's what we believe. I'm asking you right now. Okay. Do you believe there is other revelation other than the Quran? At that time, no. So you, don't, you believe there was no at other revelation? At that time, the only divine At that time, revelation, I'm asking at that time. So we're not talking about before the Prophet. At the we're time of the Prophet. Time, that, time of the Prophet, yes. The only thing that was revealed to the Prophet was the Quran. And through the angel Gabriel. Okay, okay. Right. Was there any rev other revelation revealed on the Prophet until he died or only the Quran? As far as I'm aware, I've read the Quran four times. I, I read it very Doesn't regularly. It look like it, but yeah. <laughs> I, I read it very regularly. Okay. You can make derogatory comments. This no, is it's the truth. And, That's and what we've I'm got, seeing. We've got a laugh in the background. So I'm seeing from you. But go ahead. No, I don't believe that there is other than the Quran. Okay. There is the wisdom. Okay. But the wisdom is only taught by Allah. This okay. is gifted by Allah, just okay. the way it was gifted to the, the Prophet. Okay. When so it was you, gifted, sure. it was gifted by Allah. Men cannot. But it's not a revelation. Sorry? It's not a revelation no, you have to follow. It. Of the okay, so it's the prophet understanding. Right. Okay, now you just dig you, you just dig yourself a hole, I'll tell you. No, you see I'll tell you why. These statements, let me tell you why. Brother, these statements, you cannot you make these statements because I they can. are they, I just did. No, no, no. But let me, let me just tell you why. the argument in a way it's not meant to be. You can tell me oh it's not a hole after I show you the hole, right? Okay. Now let's talk about the hole. Now you said to me I didn't realize we were in a circus. I really didn't. Oh, okay, I, sure. I, I if thought you this was a discussion you, about Allah. Have you, how many times how fine. many times have I laughed since our conversation? It's not about you, no, it's no, about the people okay, that support you. You're concerned you. about other people, because man. I, am I don't own. know these people, man. <laughs> I, am I never met them in my life. You are with the cameras. Like, no, I never, I never met these people in my life. You met them the first time. You met me the first time. I'm not the one with all the... You know, okay, let's just come back to the hole. Let's just come back to the hole. Let's come back to the hole. Let's go back to your hole. Okay, let's go back, let's go back to the hole. Now, the Quran says that Allah Azza wa Jal commanded the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Salam, right? There was a, a previous command to the people to direct themselves to Masjid Al-Masjid al aqsa in the Quran. Now that command does not exist in the Quran. Okay. Yeah? There's a previous command before Allah tells now, turn your face into, into uh, Mecca. There was a previous command to face Al-Masjid al aqsa That previous command does not exist in the Quran. So my question to you, did the Prophet Alaihi made it up? Did the Prophet tell the people, you yeah. know what? Guys, you should do a face Al-Masjid al aqsa And then, right. and then Allah Azza wa told them, no, 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 change to, to Mecca. Or, they, or was there another revelation? Huh? Let me Hold just on, there is the a question. verse that says, Allah says, if you turn your just, faces to the east and the west, you, Allah... I'll give you the reference, Allah. Right? I'll, I'll, I don't like to go around. I'll give you the right? exact reference of what I'm talking about. Chapter 2 of the Quran, starting from 100, 142. Yeah. I'll just give you now the context. And let's see. You have your Quran with you or no? Uh, my phone, yeah. Yeah, hey, get your Quran. Maybe you have your Quran, Quran isn't it? Okay. What chapter? Verse? Surah Baqarah, verse 142, starting from 142. Let's read what the Quran says. Because you read it four times, so you can see. I don't know, you missed Mama, this one. this is not fair. Just, just you need no. You need to be on a level playing field with me. You know, sure. you can't raise yourself above by making. I'm not raising myself. Silly above. comments. I'm not raising okay, myself. Okay, uh, dig a hole and stuff. Can, it's not about hole. Can it's we about facts. Can, can we get facts? I'm that's telling you, one hundred one four three. Let's talk about the facts yeah. now. Read one four three. Speech. One four three. One four three. Read it. Right. 
He's taking it personally, that's why. And so we made you a moderate nation, that you may be witness over, the, over humanity, and that the messenger may be a witness over you. And we only establish the, and we only establish the direction of prayer which you once followed, that we may distinguish those who follow the messenger from those who turn on their heels. Can I stop here? Right. We once for made, Allah is saying He made a previous direction to a qibla. He made it. وَمَا جَعَلْنَا الْقِبْلَةَ الَّتِي كُنْتَ عَلَيْهَا They Allah made a previous direction of prayer. Now you in the said next quds, verse, right? You said quds before. Sorry? You, see, you talked about quds. Um, um, we believe, we believe. But from it's, not hadith, it's not in there. Okay. We believe, so we believe there. from the hadith. We don't take right. the Quran alone. I right. didn't say the Quran mentions the quds. I said right. the Quran mentions the previous qibla. So okay. let's deal with that again, point. Again, it's an assumption. Uh, no, no, let's deal with the point. That. Let's deal with the point now. Right. So can you answer me, where is that previous command of, of the qibla? In the Quran. Very good By the way, that's the first question I'm asking you. There's many other questions, but that's the first question. Well, God is telling you, when, are you saying where is the command that God says turn towards the Qibla? No, it's the next verse. I'm saying the first Qibla, which is this. That Allah said we have made the first Qibla as a test. Right. Where is the command of the first Qibla? In the Quran. In the only revelation, sorry, let me repeat it. In the only revelation, where is the right. command, the previous command of the Qibla? I have not found it yet. I have not found it yet. I'm not saying I know everything. You're speaking as if I, I know, know Alhamdulillah, everything. Alhamdulillah, I know right. the full Quran and it's not there. Now, if you're but claiming is there, no, 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 my no. brother, if you're claiming is there, saying, if you're claiming is there, you saying, can bring it. You're saying the previous Qibla was Quds. Leave Quds now. No, they no, say, but you made this point. You're, you're saying I the point you, look, you know what? I retract, retract the point. Right. I'm easily. I retract the point. You right. claiming I said Quds, I'm retracting the point. Now, let's deal with the point. Let's not run away because I know you like to run away. Now, please tell me which, which is see, the previous Qibla. <laughs> you love these comments. Why is the previous Qibla? Okay. Where is the previous Qibla? Mentioned, yeah. Where is the previous Qibla mentioned in the Quran? Yeah, Allah said we commanded you before to follow a Qibla right. in the past. Okay. Allah, we said we made a previous command. That command is not the Quran. So right. where did that command come from? Did the Prophet make it up? What is Allah talking about here oh, then? there is another Wahi. Or there is another revelation. Yeah. Again, I can't say that I know. No, 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 we're not done by the way. We're not okay, done. All right. Okay. Okay. Not, it's the first question, yeah? Hadith Qudusiyah. It's the first question. But where does it say to find this information, go to a hadith or go to a sunnah or go somewhere else? Where does it say that? I again, didn't say that. Not, again, say okay, that. so you are making an assumption. No, no, Just, no. no we've already talked about this, brother. Don't digress. No, we've already talked about it. You're, you're like two hours late. Don't digress to him. I'll speak to me. Yeah, I know, but I've got I'm this saying, whole, I'm yeah? saying to you right now, I'm, I'm not concerned with what they say. Okay. You know? I'm saying to you right now. Right. I'm not said this is this is a hadith or this is this or that. I never made any claims. I asked you. I asked you a question. Okay. We believe there is another revelation. That's that was my point. I'm saying this gives you clear cut evidence that yeah. there is other revelation other than the Quran. What is the other revelation? We can discuss. No, it's not clear cut. You're so, saying okay. this is clear so answer cut me. by making the assumption. So answer me. Where is the assumption previous command? Assumption is not clear cut. So where is the previous assumption command? Assumption is not evidence. So where is the previous command? Yes, but you're saying it's clear cut. It's not clear cut. This is an assumption you're it's making. It's not clear cut. Tell me where is the exactly. previous command? Exactly. It's not clear cut. Not according to you. I don't agree. But where is the previous command? Is the Quran only a, talking about a physical body and a physical presence in this in this in this life? I'll answer that. You you kind of torpedoed me with this. Let me talk about this. Um, okay, I'm going to stop to reading you. What do you okay, want? Right, so, huh. are we, when we face a Qibla, right? If you're facing a Qibla, hmm. picture it in this way. You are facing something with your physical body. I didn't, it's, it's a ritual. But when you turn and you face the right, no, 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 when you turn into the finish, right Qibla, huh. when you face the right Qibla, which is the Qibla of Allah, when you face Allah, Allah says the east and the west is mine. It, I, I, not word for word, but when it says turn to the east and the west, and the, there is Allah, that's, that's what they argue. No, what I'm saying, say. That's yes, but it doesn't prove his point either. Uh, no, He's no. using conjecture okay. to try and disprove what I'm saying, but it doesn't prove your okay, point either. Okay, uh, you are, you are so the. So we are both you're the expert. In, 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 I'm talking to the expert who read the Quran four times, yeah? I, the, look, let me just no, 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 you can't say that, bro. Bro, bro, you're the, ex, I you're the expert. God's law. Brother, brother, brother. This is what I follow. Okay, you follow God's law, so educate me. So if you me. want to add to God's law, educate me. I'm, I'm, ignorant, I'm an ignorant person who adds, right? I want you to yeah. educate me. Now, here, Allah is saying there is a previous command to the Qibla. Can you please inform me what is Allah talking about there? I don't know. You don't know? No. So, how can we know? How can you know? Is the Quran clear? You sit <coughs> is the Quran clear? You, is the Quran you clear? Can't tell me. Is the Quran clear? The Quran is Does Allah say it's clear? But just as you open a physics book to a year, year seven child, he does not understand physics. Sure. So therefore you are, you, this, I don't know them, but this is a bias sure. talk. But anyway, so let's go it, to it chapter three. Play. Let's go to chapter three. Verse what? Lost. One, two, four. Thank you. Uh -huh. What does Allah say there? 
when you said, yes. right, so when you oh, said to the believers, mm -hmm. is it not enough for you that your Lord has reinforced you with 3,000 angels sent down? Now, the right. Prophet here, this is in the past. Allah is saying, when you said to the believers that Allah is going to enforce you, he's talking about the battle there. Allah is going to enforce you with 3,000 angels. My question is, where did Allah tell the Prophet in the Quran that he's going to enforce him with 3,000 angels? Or did the Prophet made up made up this kind of story that there is Allah enforcing you with 3,000 angels? Where did the Prophet get this information from? Very good. Yeah, that's good. Where did Allah... No. Where did the where Prophet, did the prophet know? Where did the right. Prophet know? Right. Where did he get this information that Allah have supported the believers or three thousand angels? Where did he get this information? Yes, which he was telling the this, people. This was, this was uh, given to him. This was gifted to him. Where is oh. not the Quran? Oh. We you don't believe this other revelation. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. How was the Quran given to Prophet Muhammad? Why? Through you, Angel Gabriel. Was, right. Through Angel so Gabriel. There, so this is his. Look, the things that were given to Prophet Muhammad to give to us as in humanity. Which is this what is other than the Quran? So you believe there is other revelation no, now? No, I'm saying the Quran. The Quran that was given to the. So Quran. where is the command of three thousand angels in the Quran? Where did Allah tell the Prophet, "I'm going to give you three thousand angels"? And it's in the past tense. No, no. He's saying, "Where did Allah tell him in the past tense? He's going to get three thousand angels." So he know that. So he went to the believers and he told them. Yeah. Now, where, no, where, no, where, where did the Prophet know? This is a simple question, my brother. How did the Prophet know that Allah have supported us with three thousand angels in the battle? How did he know? Again, like I said, I've read, I, I read Did he make it up? Did I'm he make trying, it up? But it does not, this does not prove your point either. Leave my point now. Let's yeah, answer the question. What, what answer to, the question. What you're trying to say. Do you believe? Okay, guys. What is trying now to say? Now you're going to talk to them, yeah? Okay, because okay. you are obviously in front of them. You are the one with the microphone. I'm not looking at them. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. I don't have any now, microphones on right now, my brother. You want one? I'll give you. you I don't want to. No, no, no. I didn't come for this. I don't need microphones, man. You guys obviously came for this. This is you. You're prepared with your stands and stuff. Anyway. I just was booking by, man. Stay for 30 minutes. I'm going. Why are you being prepared? What you're trying to show okay. others is if you follow do i know the unseen i know i'm going to meet a quran you going to speak to we, a quran what prepared we to what cannot, you you want to kind of picture somebody who follows quran a family follows the books that allah has revealed is actually on the wrong path that's what you're trying to but you don't follow the quran you i how can i not follow the quran because the, everything the, quran, say, can I the quran as i just said yeah. demonstrates clearly yeah. that there is another revelation other than it and it commands you to follow it which is the hikmah now let me ask you now let, let's let's go to another topic now yeah because there's a variety yes, of topics yes but it does not say the that hikmah, hikmah is the hadith or the sunnah of muhammad just, it does not say it it doesn't matter let's, so let's just, neither of our points can i explain answered. something first do you believe you, see, you keep jumping from no no about the hikmah let's forget this We're there's a hole let's do this because so where do you want to talk about what do you want to talk about what did we do what did we leave i don't know you came into this conversation I was talking to my brother. So you're not happy me moving, and in the same no. time you're happy me moving. You keep jumping. Is it my conversation or your conversation? There are certain bits of knowledge that okay. belong to Allah. Brother, it's not with me. Brother, it's you, not with you. Uh, you told me how am I not following the Quran? That was your question to me, correct? I said to you, I'm going to demonstrate to you the hikmah. Now you're saying I'm running away from the topic. No, we're, just, we're talking. Let's talk about the hikmah now. You said the hikmah is not the hadith. That was your claim. Yeah. Now I'm asking you a question now. Is the hikmah the following things? A, when we say hikmah, are we talking about wisdom or are we talking about teachings? Which one? We're talking, Allah uses the word hikmah in the Quran. That's what I'm talking about. And how is that translated? Again, my Arabic is not good. I, translate that. Well, what, I'm, what I'm talking about right now is me and you, we're trying to understand what the hikmah is. So that's what we're trying to do now. I'm claiming it's the hadith. You're claiming it's something else. No, but so, what does the word say? When the verse hikmah, brother, hikmah in the Arabic language. What does it mean? Does it mean wisdom hikmah, or just hikmah, wisdom? Hikmah, right, hikmah wisdom, the, thank you. Hikmah in the Arabic language. Come on, we have to go with this translation because the world is you an Arab. Do you want me to answer? Do you want me to answer? You're talking to them, you're talking to me. No, the world I'm answering you. You want me to answer you? The world? You want me to answer you? Let's go with it. Okay, I'm answering you, but you're looking here and there. Talk to me, yeah? yeah? Hikmah can come from two roots. Yeah. Yeah, hukm wa ihkam. Can mean that something is done perfectly, done mill way, well made, sorry, done perfectly. Right. Or it can mean wisdom as well. Or judgment or ruling. Yes. That's why all of these are meaning of hikmah. Now here, we're trying to understand which one of these meanings, what is the hikmah that Allah is talking about? Okay, so let's, let me ask you three questions now. Is the hikmah, talking about the hikmah now, is the hikmah something which is revealed coming down from, uh, from Allah revelation? Other than the Quran, because I'm claiming now that there is a revelation other than the Quran. Is the hikmah a separate revelation from the Quran? Is the hikmah something which is being taught? 
to the people. It's a revelation coming down, it's being taught. Is this one question or are these three three It's one question about the hikmah. Right, okay. I want to see if the hikmah has these characteristics or not. I'm asking you, do you believe that? So the first one was, is this divine revelation? Is that what you said? Yes, do you, believe, one. do you believe the hikmah is a divine revelation other than the Quran? Look, it's a very other clear. Than the other than no, the Quran. Other than the Quran. Okay, no, step by step. Do you believe yeah, the hikmah? I, we have to you go can to answer me, I'll let you answer once I make my question, ma'am. Okay. Do you believe the hikmah is another revelation other than the Quran? Number one, first characteristics. Number two is being taught. And, and number three is something which is being said. Something which you talk, you say. Okay, you're it's, not, it's not just right. a, a movement or that's you're that, it's a speech. You're asking me what I believe. I'm asking you, do you believe right. these what three things are the hikmah or not? You're asking me what I believe. Yes. And I as, as a someone who read the Quran for time. I honest. Okay, you see you're coming back to these little I'm asking, points I'm, I because you know. like to... I found it interesting, but I'll go ahead. Yes. But why is that bad? You see, again, you're trying to make I it look like it's a bad thing. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Why no, is that a bad thing no, to I, read the Quran for time? Why is it so negative? It's not a bad thing. You're showing it's it as thing. negative. It's a good thing. Okay, okay so why are you not saying it in a neg so, positive way? I'm saying it a positive no, way. No, you're saying it I'm negatively, saying, I'm saying, I'll tell you why I'm saying it in a positive way. The hole in the ground and the four can times, oh, I'm a professor. Can I tell you why I'm saying it? I am, I, like everybody here, like everybody, let me speak, let me speak. You ask me a question, let me speak. I believe we are all going to be judged by the same God. Okay. Okay, and everything that is being told to us, if you don't do it, you're going to have to answer why you don't do it. Now, if you personally, right now, in your heart, believe that you are following the hadith or the sunnah and you are on the right path then Allah is forgiving and merciful he will understand because you believe it but if I'm telling you right now the hikmah first thing you said what is hikmah what is it right is it something other than the Quran no I didn't say it that it cannot be no the first question said is it uh, is it something other than the Quran is that revelation other than the Quran right, be clear my question right, clear. Okay, that's why I said we're still doing multiple points we do one by one so you say no right it, it, Leave them, stay with me. It's, it's no problem, leave me. Is, you're saying, is it divine revelation other than the Quran? No, yeah. the hikmah or the wisdom is granted or gifted by Allah. In my, my belief, yeah, don't, don't quote, I'm not quoting the Quran. My belief is that if you are on the right path, Allah will grant you understanding of the verses. Like you just mentioned to me, where does it talk about angels? Where does it talk about the Qibla being, okay, 